Hey everyone, in this Power Apps lesson, I'm going to show you how to uh, work with calculated fields. And that's going to be a segue for another video where I'll show you how to work with roll-up fields so that we can leverage those uh, fields at a lower layer entity level and then see those at a higher level entity level. So for example, we'll have a, a table that reports to the contacts. It's a child table, um, a subgrid, and then at the contact layer, we'll have some roll-up fields in another video. Um, with some valuable data. So let's start by opening up my contact here. What I've done is I've created a, a custom table called job applicant statistics, and I've just populated it with some sample data, basically uh, employer name, phone interviews is a whole number, standard interviews is a whole number, technical interviews is a whole number, and then I create a date. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, if you create a brand new one, you can see that you can populate these values. There's nothing particularly special about them, meaning that there's no um, there's no logic um, in place. So for example, if I save this, this is a static value here for each one of these fields. There's no calculation. So what if we want to know what the total amount of interviews were for this particular employer here? Right. So that's what we're going to resolve here in our solution. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's start by opening up our solution. And we'll go to our entity. And it's our custom entity job applicant statistics. And then what we'll do is we'll go over to the form. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. You go to the field if you want. I like doing it on the form because it's a kind of a shortcut. So I'll create a new field and this new field here, I'm going to call total interviews. And then what I'm going to do here for this field is I'm going to make it a whole number, which is in parity with the other fields. We want to make sure that the, the data type is in parity with the data type incoming from the other fields. Otherwise this is not going to work properly. Then we're going to make this field type calculated. Those other fields are simple fields. Uh, this one's going to be calculated. So let's go ahead and create this field. And now we're going to do the logic for the field. And you'll find that it's rather intuitive. You just have to have a basic understanding of uh, if, then, and else statements and logic and a little bit of math. So let's make this big here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a condition. And I'm going to say for this entity, if phone interviews contains data, meaning it has a whole number in it, or, because right, it's possible that I have a phone interview value, but I don't have another value, or um, standard interviews contains data, or technical interviews contains data. Then what I want to do is I want to add an action. I want to set total interviews to a combination of standard interviews plus. So this is kind of like just using math, you use the plus sign and then plus phone interviews plus technical interviews. So they all have values so I can rely on adding those up. Okay. So that looks good to me. Okay. Very good. All right. And then an else block, you always want to have an else block. So what, what I'm going to do here is if any of these, and it's going to be the opposite. If, if they don't contain data and they all don't contain data, meaning if phone interviews, standard interviews, and technical interviews don't contain data, then I don't want that value to be populated at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set total interviews to the hard coded integer value of zero. And there you have it. And you could have other else ifs if you wanted to, but this is what we're going to do. So let's save and close, save and close the field. Let's save and publish our form. And actually we're going to have to click this button here. 
for a moment. And then here we have our total interviews field now. It's a calculated field, so you can't interact with it. It's basically read only. We're going to publish that. And then we're going to go back to our contact, clear our cache. And we're going to create a new record and test this out. So let's create a record for employer D, let's just say. So employer D, they gave us two phone interviews and uh, one standard interview and three technical interviews. And when I save this, I have six total interviews. This is dynamic, by the way. So if this changes, if I say it was one phone interview, two standard interviews, and two technical interviews, and I save, it is now five total interviews. And that is how you work with calculated fields. In the next video, um, my friends, I will show you how to roll up all these rows. We have now four rows, right, uh, with data. How to roll these up to the contact level so that we can see the performance of this um, candidate as they're working on their job search and that candidate happens to be me. This is actually not true data. This is just me just fumbling with numbers, but, uh, just to, to, to train you and show you what you can do with power platform. So thank you so much for watching. Take care.